Okay, this diagram is really interesting and it really implies a lot of physical meanings. For example, if omega increases, like from 1 hertz to 1000 hertz, then this will increase 10 to the 6 over here. Right? And this increase proportional to omega. So the phase difference between displacement of force go to pi. Right? That means when I ride a bicycle or a car, and when I pass the very rough road, then what do you feel? Right? Right? Means there is a phase difference between force and displacement is pi. Okay, if omega decreases from 1 hertz to 0.1 hertz, and this will shrink very rapidly, and this will shrink this amount, and phase approach to zero. That means when I excite the true spring, what do you do? The spring and the force are in phase. Because when I push the spring, the push, the string will be deformed as I push it. So in phase. Okay? What if this one, what if the force has the same phase with the velocity is the case. In this case, this one is equal to that one, means that minus omega square m equal to s, that will provide us omega square is equal to m divided by s, that is resonant frequency. That means in this case, we will have a resonance. Why? Can we explain this using phase concept? Yes. OK, in this case, the force and velocity is in phase, as you can see over here. When I push force, there is no phase difference between velocity and force. So I am very effective situation to give my energy to the system. Therefore, the system is vibrating, expressing kinetic energy increase. Okay? So suppose you see the basketball game. And we normally see that the ball is as if attached to the uh, to the uh, hand when when player really delivered the ball, ball very well. Okay, how does it look like? And how can we make that kind of physical situation? If I hit the ball like this, that means there is a phase difference, right? That means I'm not effectively pouring my energy to the ball. But if the phase difference between the velocity of the ball and the force is zero, that means I am pouring effectively to the, to the ball through kinetic energy. Right? So this is really interesting concept. And that is related with driving point impedance for infinite string, no phase difference, only real part, and we have this case when we have a finite string. The finite string is determined 
by the scale new scale KL that sees the length scale L with respect to wavelengths. So in acoustics, absolute uh, length scale does not have a meaning. One kilometer, one centimeter, ten meter does not have a meaning. It has a meaning compared with wavelengths. Compared with the wavelengths. So when I shout, when I make a whistle over here, I go. Okay, this is one kilohertz. The wavelength is 34 centimeter. That means this room is a fairly large room compared with the wavelengths I'm generating. But when I have a very low frequency, then this room is regarded to be smaller room than it was seen by the wavelengths, 34 centimeter. So we, now we are looking at the dimension with respect to KL, with respect to wavelengths, not absolute scale. So that's the very important concept you have to keep. So today, what we learn? In one word, driving point impedance. Another one is what? What is, what is the scale you learned from this lecture? KL. KL. Right? Another thing you learn is the phase concept. Okay? So what I will do is, okay, okay, this is, this is this, this is the force 